All right, you're about to see why work to be one of Starfleet or ADF's best. It's gonna happen any better. <laughs> That's all I can say. I came in, the instance was already in progress, they were about to fail, and I cleaned the house. So, kick back, and then I'll show you what I used to do it.
And here she is, the ship that wrecked shop. Nonetheless, she is a T6X. Fair warning, the modifiers are off a bit. I haven't finished off. This will say accuracy, critical damage, damage times four when it's finished. And I have three of them, ovarian, uh, phaser, tank. They actually reduce your threat, but if you're doing more deep guess, then it sounds like a team. Uh, obviously you're gonna pull the threat. Dark Matter Torpedo, Quantum Torpedo, um, a meta. It helps your chemo site to proc and just, um, Paired with its own laser beam array, the wide angle, and it's just shy of being a single beam bank. Are you have a colony deflector dish? Um, I have not. We rolled, so it is still skill regen, hull, skill, impulse, brain, weapon, and shield. Competitive engines. So every time I hit a firing mode, I get a burst of speed. Romulans are always starving for power. So I use the Terran Task Force on this one. Um, just plus two all power system. And uh, a weapon power. Bonus. We have Chet Tilly from Discovery Set running, uh, he run this because not the best shield game, there are better. So I have the Trialium Enhanced Ami Directional. Now this one's interesting because you can't re-roll it, you just rerun the mission time after time until you get a drop. So, compared to that, we've got a bioelectric phaser turret. And that little 2% in green just means that I hit tier 6 in that reputation build. Doing your reputation every day is really important. Doing your endeavors um, and your duty officer missions because, like, this is a duty officer right here. Build mastery. Uh, that's not, that's from the bio side. Uh, here we go. Assignment buff, starship sector, travel speed. Weapons training, um, and this from the if your fleet runs the combat booster for the entire fleet, you'll get this one. Okay. So on the other omnidirectional, we have an omnidirectional over phaser. The idea here is that all the weapons can fire forward. Okay. So the trialium omnidirectional with its console. It gives you power transfer rate, hull restoration, and uh, starship hull capacity. When we go to more, it, when it procs, it gives you 5% fire cycle haste, so you shoot faster. Then we have the um, hydrodynamic complex here. For plus 3 engines, auxiliary, 22.7 weapon accuracy, and 30.3 flight turn rate. When we hit more, we see that the two piece gives you 7.5% bonus phaser, disruptor, plasma, and or tetrion energy weapons. 2% increase chance of biomolecular weapon. Yeah. Alright, basically it's with this turret right here, so I can get the 7.5, and the 2% is when this thing fires, if it hits the hull, it kind of leaves spores behind, and uh, those spores then explode on the enemy's hull. 
this is a standard if you're only going to buy two consoles from the Lobby store. It's gonna be these two. Okay. This is the Bio Infusion Circuit for 29.5 Starship Hull capacity. 29.5 Hull, I mean, control capacities. And 26.2 for severity. Very important nowadays. This is the other low B console, it's the Tachyo Kinetic Converter with 29.5 to control, 39.4 flight turn rate, 1.3 critical chance, and 13.1 to crit severity. These are fairly cheap on the exchange, so you have your uh, point defense bombardier. Her being Romulan though, you have to get it from the Lobby store. 400 Lobby or I think it's 100 million on the exchange. Um, or you can just get the ship, the Atlas, comes with it. So, actually I think the Atlas. That is 25% of projectile damage, 1% crit chance. Then one of the arguably best consoles in the game, the Dynamic Power Redistribution Module. Yes, I get tongue-tied. I take a lot of meds to leave me alone. Um, <laughs> all damage resistance ratings, directed energy damage. And when you click it, it has this little clicky here, right? So when you click it, plus 40% bonus damage while above 80% hull, plus 100 damage resistance rating, plus 500% uh, hull regeneration. Sometimes I use it offensively, sometimes I use it defensively. This console, the Domino console, is again one of the best consoles in the game. I've seen a lot of people use it even when they don't use phasers. Okay. It also comes with a clicky, which is this guy right here. And when you click it, you get 25% fire cycle haste on all energy weapons, 25% only all damage. Yes, all damage. That includes science abilities, torpedoes, anything. If you throw a soda can out your window at the enemy, it gets bonus damage. 100% uh, recharge speed for torpedo weapons. If you defeat a foe, plus two seconds duration to all effects. So all those bonuses that just read off get extended by two. Uh, for every enemy that dies, which is not very hard. I do have one a vulnerability exploiter, phaser and crit severity. I have the third piece, because the torpedo and the beam bank and this make the third piece. And this is kind of meta nowadays also, which is... 3.9 critical chance, 7.9 to weapon power setting, and a whopping 157.5 shield penetration. Okay, so I have the three piece set on, so we're gonna go ahead and click more. At two piece, you get an additional 1% crit severity. Up for 20 seconds, stacks up 25 times. At three pieces, you get this omnidirectional uh, dark matter torpedo that fires at any enemy around you below 50%. So that's uh, really nice. And then I have three vulnerability locators for phaser and additional crit chance. Now let's go into traits. So we're using self-modulating fire. Outgoing critical hits, your energy weapon and projectiles gain 50% shield penetration. Beam barrage that you get from... Boom, 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 boom. Crafting! Okay. 
<laughs> R&D. When you hit level, I uh, can't remember if it's 13 or 15, you will get that trait, Beam Barrage. All right, and it's 2% um, all beans damage over 30 seconds, stacks up to three times. I have the trait operative for more crit chance, more crit severity. Context is for kings. If you take damage in the past three seconds, you gain damage resistance. If you don't, you gain 1% bonus damage. Pretty cute. Do this forever. 5% all damage for 10 seconds. Plus 5 accuracy for 10 seconds. Complete coordinator. Plus 2% bonus damage per team member. Um, self included, up to 10%. Now, I don't know if it's a glitch at the moment, but when I fire my uh, fighters, I'm getting the full 10% even when no one is near me. Uh, so, something's a little wrong there. But okay. So, we got good, uh, good day to die on here also. Uh, basically, it turns... Okay, I don't have it there, so I must have it on my spam bar. Here it is. Your go-down fighting into a reusable buff, so it's plus 20% damage resistance rating, plus 50% to all damage. And since that trade is slotted, it's going to cool down really quick, and you can use it again and again and again. Um, please take note, on my spam bar... I do have the first thing on here is emergency power to weapons, which does interfere with my build from the uh, inquiry trait, but not too much. Okay. Uh, I don't. Am I using it? No, I'm not. I could use um, intertwine. I mean, preferential targeting. Because I have Scatter Volley and Beam Overload. But I chose not to use it on this build. Then I have my Go Down Fighting, my Alpha, and my Beam Fire at Will. Which works with the Supercharged Weapon. Now, here's how I understand this works. Champs. If you have three types of weapons on your ship... Two of them will be supercharged and will get these bonuses. If you have two types of weapon, one or the other will get the supercharge. Okay. Enter to my matrixy, so I get a torque spread every time that gets set off. One of the best traits in the game that, oh my god, cryptic. Put it in the lobby store so my KDF officers can use this. This is Tarek Goodbye. It comes off of the Mira Connie. Uh, super weapon ingenuity. <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> this comes off of the monkey ship, I call it. The Zindi Primate ship. Uh, weapons hot, deflected, full. Uh, it actually goes higher than that in combat, by the way. So, it'll give you a temporary hard shield that will stop um, torps. There is some leakage when it comes to exotic abilities. But it also gives you 5% fire cycle haste for 30 seconds. So, not only do you get a defensive bonus for using this, you get fire cycle haste and the more you shoot the more damage you do so it's a no-brainer right um and the last trade on here is uh weapon emitter overdrive when using a beam or a cannon bridge officer ability for 20 seconds you increase weapon power um drain by 50 percent and you get crit chance and accuracy. Bad. On the ship itself, I lose duality. Now remember when I was showing you the ship? And if 
blah, blah, blah. Here it is. Hold capacity. And hold capacity. Well, with that treat slotted, 4.4 crit chance based on hold capacity. 7.5 at max at 200,000 hold capacity. Uh, it's a very nice trade. You have Omega Gravitic Amplifier, which basically adds shield penetration to your uh, torpedoes. You had to add that. And let me mention, Omega Kinetic Shearing adds a dot to your torpedoes and mine. It no longer affects, like you used to be able to drop a gravity well and then track the beam repulse to kind of rip apart their hull. It no longer affects that. I haven't found that any other traits the, I'm going to call it stealth changed. Um, but this one has been changed if you're a science officer and you use it a lot. We have an extra armor penetration, which is hull penetration, 6.3. Excuse me. And more crit severity on this build. So, please look in the comments below. I mean, the description below. I have listed everything. Right. This is the Romulan Officer Superior Romulan Optics. Uh, one of these. Oh, there's the hierarchy officer with pirate and um, efficiency. This is a Kentari officer with uh, bonus damage, hull regeneration, and I believe it's efficiency. And Pacha is. Hold up. I think I need to pull up my file. Oh, file, right? It, it, it comes in handy. This is what I'm going to be putting into the... Uh, okay, slot one. So we have two Romulan officers. Uh, a Kentari officer, a hierarchy officer. Okay, that's what it is. And this is actually a Cardassian officer. Don't ask me why it just says British officer. So I'll be including all of this information in the descriptor. I will also be including other channels that do really, really high DPS. On this channel, slowly but surely, you're going to see less and less Romulan builds with all Romulan characters. Um, you're going to see more human captain, Vulcan, etc. I'm going to show everyone that you can do DPS and not be a Romulan alien or a Romulan with an all Romulan staff. Um, you can be your dream character. You can be that captain. You can be your Vulcan science officer and hit 200k. You know, you will not hit ultimate, ultimate numbers. I really, really doubt you'll be able to do that. But uh, yeah, the channel is going to go in that direction. I hope that you enjoyed this overview um, and seeing this ship in action. It was fun to build. Uh, all the links are in the comments below. Also patreon and all that if you want to support the channel and links to other high dps channels all right guys have a great one and catch you soon